everyone welcome back to the divine healing with love channel i am nicole thank you all so much for being here with me today welcome back to the capital l-o-v-e tribe thank you all so much for all of your love support shares likes commenting subscribing being here being present showing up for yourself doing the work I'm proud of you i love you i'm so grateful to have you here with me Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So of all gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. So we're going to talk today about, I'm recording this on February 22nd, 2022. So it's two, 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 two. Palindrome day, okay? major energy portal today i was going to do a collective reading but i filmed another pick a card i want to just do this message and this is a call for all of the leaders to step up and this is really for everyone we are all leaders some of us are leading on a larger scale or leading people a community a collective a group but we are all leaders and this is a call. I was told to do this. I didn't think I was going to film this on this day. This video may not be released on this day, but it doesn't matter. The energy is here. We feel it. You're going to feel it. So, but I was told because I'm a leader and I'm really stepping up now in my mission in leadership to show how we are here to make a difference. We are in spiritual warfare. Crazy things continue to happen every single day. We have a choice to change the timeline, to change the trajectory, to change, move this collective into a more utopia society, into a society where we can have harmonious timelines, harmonious events. These things can happen. But it's about us doing what we're supposed to do and for the leaders to step up and lead. Now, when I say that, this is what I mean by that. Again, some of us are called to lead a large group of people on a large scale, globally, nationally, um, locally in the community. But some of us are just called to lead day by day, leading by example, by being the example. Really, all leaders, all of us are leaders, again. It's just, it's different. Some of us have different missions here, okay? But we are being called to lead by example, showing people, showing humanity, showing the collective how we can move forward, treating each other with love, being kind to each other, showing each other how to be peaceful, how to live harmoniously. Now, I know what you may be saying. How are we supposed to do that? There's so much dark energy out here. So many dark people. Yes, that's true. But again, this is by showing people you can lead by example. You can lead every single day. But number one, leadership starts with you. As a leader, you have the duty and the job to learn more about yourself, to become more aware of your behavior, of who you are, more accountable for your actions, more accountable for the things that you say, the things that you do. That's leading right there. Apologizing when you need to apologize. Being accountable for, again, the things that you say, the things that you do. Owning up to the things that you've done in the past if, it, you, know, if you need to apologize and things like that. When I really started to get on my journey, it was almost like I went through this phase where I was going back to people and just randomly apologizing because I was really trying to, I was really holding myself accountable at this point. And I was looking back at my previous behavior and there were some things that I did in the past that were just completely unacceptable and not aligned with the person that I was becoming. So I made sure I did not have to apologize to some of those people, 
but I made sure I did it because I wanted them to know that those behaviors, my former actions, they were not indicative of who I really am. I was in, you know, I wasn't trying to make excuses for myself and I explained that. But I was telling people I was in a low vibrational frequency. I was in a dark night of the soul. I was in a very dark place. Very dark. I'll be talking about that in another video. But I was telling people I had to go and apologize. That's leadership. That's me taking accountability. Me owning my actions. Now whether they accepted my apology or not, that's, that's not for me to be concerned with. But this is me being a leader. Leaders also, this is another way you could lead. How do you interact with people? Again, your actions. Leaders don't need to go around saying that they are a leader. You don't have to do that. How are you talking to people? How are you interacting? What type of behavior are you showing? Again, leadership starts with you. Many of us, I'm gonna be talking about this in another video as well. I don't wanna seem like I'm all over the place, but these things are popping up, so I have to say it. Many of us are ascended masters. You know, when we think about ascended masters, we think about, you know, the deities and things like that. But you have ascended masters here on earth. I'm an ascended master, and I'm not the only one. It's many of us. Many of us, we are in mastery this lifetime. It's time to step up. It's time to step up. We cannot continue to let the things go on that's happening. Again, I'm not saying that you have to be out here on social media saying and doing all these kind of things. Leadership starts with you. Self-mastery, mastering yourself. It starts with you. Be the change you want to see. You want to see a better world? Do the work within, step up and lead. Find the way that you are going to lead. Maybe it's leading at your workplace. You know, calling someone out for speaking negatively or judgmental about a coworker. You know, things like that. Like people are, let's say colleagues are engaging in low vibrational conversation, talking about another colleague being judgmental, not giving another person grace. Maybe you will be the one to say, hey, we don't know what that person is going through. We don't know what type of circumstances are happening in that person's life for their behavior. Not to excuse their behavior, but we don't know. So let's just give this person some grace and let's change the subject. That's a leader. That's a leader. Shutting it down. Like, that's not cool. And if they continue to do it, walk away. Don't engage in it. You know, don't engage in people talking about people and being judgmental and judging people and not wanting to give people grace and not wanting to, you know, let people, we don't know what people are going through. This is how we lead. This is self-mastery. Many of us are in mastery and we don't even know it. This is how we move that wheel of karma. This is how we move forward. So we get unstuck. Master this lead by example. Many of us, we didn't have a leader growing up. We didn't have that example. We didn't have someone to look up to. It's time for you to step up. Leaders, it's time for us to step up. You gotta step up. And even me, I'm calling, my, I'm calling myself out. You know, I was told months ago, do this, do that. I still wasn't confident. I was gaining confidence, but I still wasn't ready. I was ready, but it was fear holding me back. Now, no, you're gonna see a different side now because I'm in leadership. This is me, this is really who I am. May get a little looser with these tarot cards. I don't know, I don't know. It's just gonna be a different Nicole, okay? So this is, this is the leader, Nicole. This is me showing you because this is what this is about. More of us have to talk about it. More of us have to step up. You know, not enough of us master souls. There's so many highly evolved souls out here. So many old souls. So many people who are quiet, not sharing what they know, not sharing their wisdom, not teaching people, not talking to people about these things. We got to stop it. We have to stop it. We cannot hold all of this information in. 
you're definitely going to hear me getting a lot more looser with my language and telling you a lot more because I'm not supposed to hold all this stuff in. I'm supposed to share it with you. That's part of my mission. And that's why I'm calling you. This is a call of action. Call, I'm calling you to step up. Join me. Join me in this leadership. Join me in this fight. We're in spiritual warfare. We're fighting against things we can't see. And our children are at stake. They want our children. That's what they want. The dark forces, they want the children. I could cry right now. Like, I have such a special connection to children. They want the children. Social media. Like, we're fighting against things we cannot see. It's dark out here. But it doesn't have to be. We can change this. We can change this. If you believe that we can do it, we can do it. We can make this a place where we can all win and love each other and have peace. So if no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe, comment below. I love you so much. Step up. I see you. I'm with you. Let's do this. I love you. I'm proud of you. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.